Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalo Sirtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a delicious lamb and rice pilaf. It's a one pot meal that the whole family is going to enjoy. There's so many aromatic flavors in this. Let's get started. Lamb shanks are the perfect cut of meat to use for this. I have four pounds of them. They're, they're already cut up, but if you get them whole, you can leave them whole as well. I've made it with whole lamb shanks many times. If you cannot get lamb shanks, lamb shoulder is a really good substitute. We're gonna begin by heating up some olive oil in a big pot, and then I'm gonna brown the lamb shanks in two batches, about three or four minutes on each side. Once they're done browning, go ahead and transfer them to a plate, and then you're gonna to wanna to finally chop one large onion. Take the pot off of the, off of the heat for a little while because it's gonna be really, really hot. If you were to add the onions in right away, they were gonna, they're gonna brown a little too fast. So return the pot to the heat, add the onions to the pot, and let them cook over medium heat until they're golden brown. That's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes or so. Once they're done browning, go ahead and grate five garlic cloves and add those in as well. And just let them warm through until they're fragrant. So over here, I have a heaping teaspoon of cumin seeds, two bay leaves, about 10 to 12 peppercorns, you could definitely add more, three whole cloves, and a cinnamon stick. And I also like to add two to three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. If you have regular plain yogurt, that works too. This really helps tenderize the lamb. The lamb goes back in, and I'll add two teaspoons of salt, and enough water to cover the meat. And I'm just gonna let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for about two hours or until the meat is falling off the bone. So at about the last 30 minutes of cooking time, you're gonna wanna prepare the rice. My favorite rice to use is basmati rice because it's light, it's aromatic, and just cooks up so easily and quickly too. I let, I'm using three cups today for the amount of meat that I'm cooking. So all I did was I put three cups of basmati rice in a big bowl and I rinsed it out four or five times with some cool water. Then I also let it soak in some cool water after I rinsed it out. That way it's gonna get rid of that starch. Once it cooks up, it's gonna be nice and light and separate. You don't want like a risotto type feel, like, like a starchy kind of creamy where the rice is falling apart. You want them to kind of hold their shape. So soaking it is important and rinsing it out is also important. Once the meat is nice and soft and tender and pretty much falling off the bones, you're gonna go ahead and drain the water from the rice and add the rice to the pot. If you can fish out all of the bay leaves and the cinnamon stick and as many as, as the cloves as you can get out, now's the time to do so. Otherwise, it's perfectly fine. I serve this family style and if it lands in um, one of our, my kids' plates, they just take it out and put it on the side, no big deal. You're also gonna wanna add three teaspoons spoons of salt if you're using three cups of rice and mix it all up. So as far as water goes or broth, the lamb is going to create a beautiful rich broth. I don't know how much you're going to have left over, but you're looking for once the rice is put in, you want it you want the rice to be covered an inch on the top with a liquid. So add a little bit more more water if it's needed. If the broth is enough, that's fine. Just it's supposed to be 3 cups of liquid to 3 cups of rice. That's the measurement. It's 1 to 1. So use your judgment for that. Bring it to a boil after you give it a nice mix. And once you do that, uh, cover it and reduce the heat to a simmer to, so that way it cooks nice and slow. And let it cook for about 15 or 20 minutes until the rice is nice and tender. Toss it all up carefully so you don't break up the rice and it's ready to be served. You can serve this with a nice salad, some tzatziki sauce or yogurt cucumber sauce, which is really nice and refreshing. It smells so good. It all comes together in one pot, so it's super simple. The only thing is it takes a little bit long to make because the lamb does take some time to cook. You can substitute chicken for this, although the lamb really takes this to the next, to the next level and adds so much flavor. Time for the taste test. Mmm. That is just perfect. I love this dish. It's actually not the way that we uh, make it in Greece because this is more of a Pakistani recipe that I've tweaked and kind of made my own using the spices and the things that I have on hand that I use all the time. The Pakistani version does have a few extra spices in it. If you want to know what they are, you can ask me in the comments and I'll answer them down below as many as I can. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, DemetrisDishes.com. Let me know what you think and also post your recipe requests down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.